Hey everyone, Sheldon here, and in this video I'm going to be doing sort of an experiment with napkins, in a sense. So I have some paper towels here, and that's pretty simple. I also have some napkins, and these are from McDonald's. So this is significantly thinner than a paper towel, but I'm going to see what I can do. So to start off, I'm going to explain really quick. I'm going to fold it over and make eight layer pieces and then anything beyond the eight layers I'm going to use super glue. So for the beginning stages it's just going to be Elmer's glue all. Wood glue would work too but all right let's see here. So I've got something underneath here and I'm going to fold this over in half. So I'm going to apply my glue to just one half, sort of the same principle as paper. This is just more flimsy. So just put this on here, maybe like 45 degrees. I'm just using this old gift card to spread the glue on here. Got to be more gentle with it than paper. Okay. And now I'm just folding it over, same principle as paper. And I'm not going to do much to it right now. I'm just going to kind of maybe roll this on top of it, but I'm not going to try to do that because it will probably tear. Well, I know it will tear. I have tried this, like I said before. So this is two layers thick now, and if I fold it over again, it will be four layers. Just gonna do the same thing. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing to both of them. And these are both four layers, so now if I glue these together, it'll be eight. Just line it up like that. So here it is, it's glued together and it's definitely flimsy. Obviously it won't be as flimsy when it's completely dry, but it seems like the glue really soaks into this and takes forever to dry. It makes sense though, it's a paper towel, like it's meant to absorb stuff. And earlier today I made a few more. So these ones are closer to being dry, they're still flimsy but that's to be expected because they're still cold to the touch, which means they're wet. So I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna start working on the McDonald's one. So I have a napkin here and my goal is to try to make this, which I did earlier. This is only two layers of napkin. So right now it kind of feels like a brown paper bag but I'm gonna get it to eight layers as well. So the reason I'm making it into small portions like this is because earlier I tried it with like, I guess half of this and folded it over and it just got really wrinkly because th there was too much glue or too little glue and it started moving all over the place. So to break it up into small manageable pieces like this is a lot more wise. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm gonna cut straight down the middle here. This is very hard to cut through. I'm just kidding. Good enough for who it's for. Now I'm just gonna crease it right here. I'm just gonna cut straight down this new crease I made. And then I'm just gonna fold this over one more time and cut it right there. I 
there we go. So I have the small piece here with a crease in the middle and you have to be very careful with this. Not too much, not too little. Actually a little more than you think you would need. And just very lightly kind of squeegee it over the surface. Okay. Take that off and fold it down. And push that down. What's nice is it's a napkin, so those wrinkles just go away. Okay, so I can't really spread the glue around the same way. I have to just kind of press the layers together like this. So right now this is two layers thick and we need eight. So I need four of these. And since I made some earlier, actually quite a few, I can simply just make an eight layer piece. So I'm gonna use four of the two layer pieces I made earlier because they're basically already dry. So that's super convenient. I'll let this one dry. You can see the difference, like, yeah, big difference. So just gonna start with two of them, glue those together and then another two and you get the idea. Basically it is paper now. So just adding some glue. Can probably get away with adding a little bit more because it's thicker now. And spread it around here evenly. Okay, not messy at all. All right. Lay that down. Take this one and glue it on top. And now I'm just treating it like paper, thin paper, just doing the same thing to the other two layer pieces, combining them to make a four layer piece. It's kind of funny because Napkins are made out of recycled paper, is what they say. So it's like I'm turning napkins into paper again, and then into something more solid. It's interesting. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the two four layer pieces together. Okay, and now it's eight layers thick. It kind of looks like the wood that makes like the back of a wooden clipboard a little bit. It's kind of cool. All right, so now that this is eight layers thick, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Probably put it underneath some textbooks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to all these, make eight layer pieces, and then everything after that will just be you know, using super glue and having the super glue saturate the layers and kind of go down in between them all. And that's what will give it its actual strength. Like this helps, but it's more like making plies, thin plies for something that's gonna be thicker. All right, so it's been about 48 hours since I finished gluing these and you can see they're definitely pretty solid. These ones are thinner, so they're not gonna be as solid. I did end up making a couple more of these today, the brown napkins. So they're not all completely dry, but it should be good enough to move on to the next step. So what I'm going to do now is just cut these down the middle here and these down the middle here so I can make two separate blanks for each one. So I have some marks on here that I just measured over to the middle and I'm just going to start cutting these in half. And then this one. I can still feel the texture of the paper towel. That's interesting. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. Now I have four separate piles here. So each one of these will make a blank and I'm leaving it open for being able to glue them together and make a thicker one later. It's easier to have two separate ones and then glue them together and get something thicker than it is to have a thick one and try to take it apart. I have some super glue right here and I'm just gonna put it on one of these and take the other one and put it on top. Same thing for these, so pretty simple just apply it try not to get it on your fingers but I always do and I'm taking this one and just kind of moving that around a little bit to fully cover it or at least somewhat close okay and the last coat of super glue that will go on the outside edge of the whole thing will make sure all the layers are sticking together properly. I'm just gonna do this now. It's pretty good. This one's gonna take more super glue. It's absorbing it a little quicker because it's a paper towel, so. I need to move a little faster. Take this and line it up. It's actually pretty warm. It's that exothermic reaction or whatever they say on the bottle. I'm also using these vice grips here to just really make sure these layers stay together. So I'm just gonna keep stacking these up, just taking another one, gluing it on top, and just work my way up until I have four separate blanks. Okay, so now they're all glued together, as you can see. And I'm just gonna take some thin super glue now and just coat the surface and also the sides. So you can see here that I'm gonna use my milling machine to square up the edges. And to do that, I'm putting the pieces into my vise at the same time so I can even them out in one go. So since these are made out of napkins or paper towels, same thing, they absorb so much super glue, which hardens the piece to a point that it feels like very hard plastic or very hard wood with no grain. It's crazy because the end mill on my milling machine cuts through the material well and it doesn't fray out the layers of the napkins. And here you can see the McDonald's napkins and I'm doing the exact same thing, just cleaning up the edges. I did also have to deburr these napkin blanks afterward, but naturally forgot to film it. All right, so now you can see them here. They're squared up and I deburred them, like I said. So they're very, solid and since I you know cleaned up the edges they match up basically perfectly like that so I'm just gonna touch them up with a little sandpaper and try to get more of a flat finish like it doesn't need to be a perfect mirror finish because you know it's napkin stock so there's no point in doing that so I'm just gonna use some low grit sandpaper first and just work up to like 2000 which is more like 3000 now with how much it's been used but sometimes used sandpaper works better for stuff like this it's doing something the 
this is 400 grit now. Ugh, paper towel dust. So this is what they look like after some general sanding. They're at least flat. The surface finish is not great. You can see all the tool marks and stuff. I wouldn't exactly want this as my countertop. Let's see this one. Same deal, but let's see. Yeah, they're just really solid, uh, even at this scale. Yeah, like, wow. So what's nice about these is you could just take them and glue them together or make a bunch of them and stack them up and then mill out stuff that you need. It obviously seems to work really well on a milling machine. Same for these. So I'm really impressed. So overall, would I use this material as something to build projects out of? Yes, definitely. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And that's mainly because it doesn't take as much time as I thought it would, nor as much material. Like these two pieces put together is 10 paper towels. These two napkin pieces put together is like six McDonald's napkins. So just imagine what you could do if you had like a whole roll of paper towels or like 80 McDonald's napkins. And just listening to these when they hit together, it's just very strong. And I think you can make quite a few pretty cool things with this. It takes a little bit of patience, but probably about the same amount of patience as paper crafting. So that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching. I've been wanting to try this method of crafting for quite a while and finally did it, so that's nice. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for what I could do with these pieces as they are or just using this method in general. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see all the latest updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video.